So now I'm going to show you how to sew elastic into a bottom that's going to have a snap fastener. So one thing you're going to do before you get started is whether you have a lining or not, whether your lining is bonded to the front or not. In this case, this is bonded to the front here and it's not bonded to the back. So whatever you're doing, sew a nice surged edge or a zigzag around the bottom edge because this is going to end up being not a raw edge, but it's going to look nicer if you just finish it off somehow. Okay, so the thing to keep in mind here is that what you're going to do before sewing the elastic is you're going to be flipping back about half an inch like so. Okay, that's going to factor in to your elastic measurement. So if you want to just pin it like that, just to remember, you can. So we'll just go ahead and do that. It's got there. In back the half inch here. Now the way I'm showing you to do this is just to make a nicer edge when you flip the elastic. Okay. Anyways, now that you've got that half inch pinned back, you're going to measure elastic pretty much the same way you do for any other one. So it's from the bottom edge here, like the new bottom edge, the fold, to the side of the hip there. And then from the side of the hip, straight down to the fold over here. Okay. Now in this case, you're not doubling anything over. You're just going to cut two. And let's go to the serger. So we're going to keep that fold in place, so fold it back to the right side. And you're going to place your elastic so it lines up with the folded edge. Now for reference, I'm doing this to the front of the bodysuit to start. So as with all leg like, elastics, you're going to stretch it like a little bit for the front edge. And then you're going to hold that fold in place at the back. Make sure both layers are folded properly. Hold your elastic to the fold, stretch everything together, and sew that elastic. One. for here is that you have that fold in place with the elastic right to the edge of the fold. And the same thing on the front, which turned out a little uglier, but it's going to work. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, have that fold in place here. You make sure it goes nicely across all the way. Again, it's a lot easier if you bond your lining instead of work with it separately. We're going to line that up with the edge. Put it in. Let it start sewing. Now for this one, like normally I'd start from the other side. But where this isn't a, a loop, it's kind of hard to. So I just approximate. So I'll go like this. That would be about as much as I would stretch it for the front piece. So I'm just going to hold that part slack and stretch the back. So OK, so we're going to take that elastic and we're going to line it up with the fold. If it's a little bit over, you can trim it. You just basically want it right at the edge there. At this point, you take your pins out. Trim any thread you have. And then this part here is going to get flipped and the elastic is going to get pushed outward like this. The 
it takes a little bit of fussing, but basically you're kind of enveloping that elastic with that folded spandex on the edge there. Like that. So just do that on both sides. And there you go. So then we're just going to stitch that seam down. So generally speaking, I like to sew my elastic stitch down from the top. For this kind of, when I'm doing a, a snap front, I generally fold it, do it from the in inside. Because it's just, it's easier to see what you're doing. So you're going to hold that fold in place. Get a nice sharp edge there and you're just going to stitch across to start. Get my machine going. Then you're going to backtrack a little bit so you're at your elastic. So that is the bottom front edge of your bodysuit now. So then you're going to go and you're going to sew, stitch your elastic down as you normally would up until the other seam. And you can do this with the right side facing up. It's just I like to keep track of where this seam is because it can get a little fussy because you're likely to get a little bit of excess fabric this way. Either way, it's no big deal. Just do what you're comfortable with. And then when you come to the seam, you're just gonna backtrack over that raw edge a little bit. And you're going to sew that down. Backtrack, get back to the edge of the elastic. As you can see, you've got that's now the back bottom of your suit. So now, as you can see, you're coming back to the starting point. So you just make sure that all this elastic's pulled tight, or the fabric's pulled tight around the elastic. And finish it off. So as you can see, we're now done the sewing. And that one I didn't get a really sharp fold in, so there is some rumpling. That's not a big deal. For this, where this is, it's not a big deal. So, last part is going to be putting the snaps in. So we're going to use halo snaps to close this bottom here. Halo snaps have two different pieces, but they come with three different parts. So one part you have is basically the, the prong setting. And you're going to need two for each snap that you're going to do. Then the remaining parts are, I've got an extra one here. Then there's the side with the, the post and there's the basically the receptacle side. Now the receptacle side has two different parts. You can see here. So this side here is the right side. That's what your post is going to snap into. The side that's got more of a closed channel, that's the wrong side. That's where the prong side is going to fit into. Like that. So that's important to know. So this is the one you're attaching to. This is the open side. Okay. 
So generally speaking, I like to have the back fold up over the front because it's easier for putting it on. Um, now I only have three sets of prongs here. Normally what I do is I do four snaps for a, a larger size like this. Like if it was a little kid, I'd do three. Um, but we'll do three just to show you how to do it. So first what you're going to do is um, decide where you want your post and where you want your snaps. Now usually I'll put the, the receptacle side on the bottom part to fold down onto the post. So the post would be on the front of the bodice, right? So what you're going to do is I'm going to set my first post part on the front here. So I'm going to go to the center front and I'm going to feed one of the um, prong settings through the back and push it through. And you can stretch your fabric over it. I'll use the little tool to like push it down in it actually. Just like that, just to like really get those visible. And then you're going to want to set that down on a hard, stable surface because you're going to be hitting it. Um, I use a brick of wood, a slab of wood here. So then set your prong setting, your, not your prong setting, your post setting on top of it and center it so that it's on the prongs where it's supposed to be. Well, so this basically, this will fit over the hole in this, the, the post. Now it's come off the thing. Once you're sure it's all in place, then you're just going to hit it several times really well. And then you'll see the prongs set into the post, and it's nice and tight, and that's what you want. Then we're just going to repeat it on either edge here. I like to do it just inside the elastic. So again, we'll feed that facing up. Make sure it's pressed down into it really well. Stick the post on top. Now you'll know that if you didn't get it right, because you'll have the prongs will stick out at weird angles like this. You can see all the prongs are gone. All the prongs are gone. It's because they're up in there and it's nice and secure. We'll do one final one. And stretch that fabric over. Push it down to expose the prongs. And there are your snaps. Now, obviously, you can take more time and center them better. I'm just showing you how to do this. Now, for the back side, the prong setting is going to go facing down. So this is the right side of the fabric and the bodysuit. The prong side is going to go in from this side. Where there's a seam there, you might need to fuss with it a little bit. Just a few layers of fabric. Actually, you know, I'm just going to do it to the side of the seam a bit. It doesn't matter. Ow. So this, it might be hard to see. I don't know if you can zoom in, but I've got the prongs facing up. Then we're going to take that closed channel side and we're going to put the closed channel side facing down over that. Now the same tool you use, you'll use here and just whack it. And there you've got a setting. Okay. And then we'll do on the side. This is really not centered at all. Definitely take more time doing this. I'm just showing you how. So again, you got those prongs showing. Put the closed channel facing down. I like to press it to make sure it's centered well. And whack it till it's good. Sorry, the prong setting I had left didn't look very good, so I'm swapping it out. So for the final one, again, just put your prong setting facing to the wrong side. Press it down to see the prongs. 
and that closed channel is going to face down into the prongs. The tool. That's slid. I could feel it. Sometimes you can just feel when it's not staying centered over it. Ooh, I don't think that stayed centered. No, it did. Okay. There you go. So clearly not a great centering job. If you can make a bodysuit that doesn't have a back seam, you're going to have less bulk to deal with here. But basically, that is how you do it. You just snap them all together. And really ugly job centering. Now you've got a bodysuit that you can pee in.